sorry, I literally can't help but look at myself. Hi guys, welcome back. I really had no reason to like turn on the camera just now, but I wanted to like come back and um, do a get ready with me. It's literally like 7.20 at night and um, I wanted to put my makeup on. I was like, but it's late. I'm not gonna feel like taking the makeup off. Girl, just do it. I wanna do it for me and I wanna start doing stuff that I wanna do for me again. I'm literally looking at all these external factors on whether to do or not do my makeup, like really procrastinating for a good chunk of the day not to do it. And the later it got, the more I convinced myself not. But now I'm just like, ugh. Girl, you go to sleep at 2 a.m. You got time. And I really did have some things I wanted to address just like on my chest. Like, you guys, I really have been putting in the work to like turn up on my social media career. The influencer wave, if you will. But for the most part, no one has just like up front and told me like, Sky, you can't do this. Get a regular job. Stop doing this. Get a regular job. Be regular. And until somebody actually tells me that, which I don't think they will. I was always afraid that like somebody somewhere would be like, Sky, stop playing. Be for real. The whole gag is that I am. I'm being so for real right now. And whether you believe it or you don't believe it, that's on you. And you know, my mom is very supportive. I'm very thankful for that. And I've put in my time. I graduated college. I, <laughs> you know, I didn't just rage quit just to put all my eggs in one basket. I technically don't have all my eggs in one basket but I'm putting a large majority into one particular basket to obtain a particular bag that might take me a while and you know taking constructive criticism growing from like what I know versus what I don't know being honest with the amount of time it's really gonna take being honest with the amount of effort I have to put in like one day I'm gonna have the balls to do this outside of my room one day I'm gonna have the ability to do just more than this really expand my content, really get into the things that I've genuinely been wanting to do and wishing to do this whole time, but slowly been acquiring the resources, slowly been acquiring the skill set. A huge thing that's been really holding me back is the perfectionist that still resides in me. I still want to come up on camera with my hair done and my makeup done always, but it'd be taking me so much time and effort to do the work on the back end that my hair and makeup is the last thing I'm, I'm really worried about. I can do my makeup and hair at any time but it's today where I really need to put in the work to figure out okay how do I manage my channel okay what is working what isn't working really assessing myself as if I'm my own teacher I mean I might as well I'm my own boss and I'm my own employee as well you know I say I want to be inspirational I say I want to be you know a clear guy for people to believe like you can do it you can be what you want to be you can do what you want to do and the best you know way for people to really get that and really believe that is if you do it you know it's a lot easier said than done but if you do it and you showed me you could do it well maybe <laughs> maybe I could be delusional I could be overshooting my shot whatever but what if I'm not what if the algorithm is purposely trying to throw me off so that I don't get enough encouragement to actually go through with this to actually continue putting in the work, slowly figuring out what my audience wants. I don't know why that motivational video did so well compared to what my numbers usually do, but it's because I was more authentic in it. That was a genuine story. I even would critique the way I edited it because that was a style of editing that I truly wanted to get into. It was inspired by a few of my favorite YouTubers and I would really like to get in that wave, that um, real life inspirational wave, you know, speaking motivation, speaking confidence, showing people how I actually got to the way I am. And I keep thinking that I have to be that already in order for people to believe me. Like, you have to see me on top to really believe me, no. You can see me right here where I am right now. Believe me now, see me now. Cause I can't, I can't cap about this. I could cap about my background if I did actually make it, but I can't cap if I don't have anything and I'm just starting. It's that serious. But eventually I should get there. 
If anything, learn from my mistakes. Be brave enough that you actually can do it. And the crazy thing is, I'm preaching my own advice. If I'm brave enough to really believe the things I sit, I'm saying, if I actually believe the things I'm actually saying, and you know, and I'm sticking to the things that I am promoting, and sticking to the the goal of keep keep going. And you know, if I had literally just one other person like me, and I saw that on the internet, that would give me way more motivation than any group of YouTubers actually could. Literally, all it takes is one. And there have been different versions of people who have helped me on my journey. People like Yusuf. I don't know if you are familiar with Yusuf. She might not be in the same algorithm. Back in the day, back in like 2016, her content kind of went viral and uh, she was really inspirational. She was really showing that um, that lifestyle and it wasn't necessarily like what she was doing, but it showed that people do put in the work and people do get results. At a certain point, you're conflicted with, is it even worth it to do all the work that it takes? I have what it takes, but is it worth doing the work that it takes? Actually, I'm gonna do this and come back. I just might have to be the person that just steps up to the plate and say I wanted. Another thing that was holding me back from really just, it's really gonna make me stop playing with you guys. Being embarrassed about not being perfect, literally trying to hide all that in the background so that you guys don't see that I'm in the same boat, in the same position, have the same dream, have the same goal. I don't wanna look stupid. I don't wanna look dumb. I don't wanna look like I'm trying too hard. I wanna cut out all the fidgety parts about my personality, like, I'm way too trained, indoctrinated, to be overly concerned with things that are blocking me in my path. I need the space. I wish I had the space to really flourish the way I want to flourish. I kind of feel the need to like dip off and do that in the... <laughs> do that in the background so that people aren't aware that I'm not as perfect as they prop me up to be or not as perfect as they perceive me to be. A lot of people in my personal life perceive me to be a lot more wealthier than I actually am. Perceive me to come from a much more stable background than I actually do. I don't know what about me comes across as better than what I am. I just choose to be myself and the more I keep choosing that, the more that it takes me on a path of genuine it takes me on a path of showing me where I need to show up. Does that make sense? The fact that that video, that one video that I've been wanting to make that style of video for a while, I put in way more effort for other videos that has less attention. Let's just say that. You know, from a business perspective, I see that this is the type of content that you guys want. In the same realm, I desire content like that too. I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know if that came off too sappy or too sad. I have a lot of videos that I really have to reanalyze because I can come off quite controversial. I can come off quite um, depressive. I, I truly don't know. You know, the more that I talk with people, the more that I practice, the more that I show up, the, the fact that I'm literally here showing up again and again and again, I don't mind the mistakes. I don't mind the, the time that it takes for me to really analyze again. Still, even just generally trying to figure out my content, like I like a lot of types of content and I know branding is so important and I'm getting on that wave, but love, we're just getting started. And the fact that the motivation video is something you guys like, that was something very doable for me. I was just afraid to show how real life, real life can get. I'm conscious about things like cancel culture and conscious about being too personal online. Like I really gotta make sure I have a good balance, a good medium. I want to be real for people to be able to relate to me because I am a genuine person. I do have qualms about me. You might like me for many different reasons. You might not like me for many other reasons. I'm not complaining about my views or anything, but this shows me what you guys want and I will give you what you guys want. I will give me what I want as well. I could have used a video like that and truly enough, me producing it was just as helpful to me as it probably was to you. That's why I'd be like, comment y'all, comment, cause I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what y'all wanna see from me or would it be? Or you want me to make the content? You want me to choose? Of course you do. That's why you come to me.
but uh yeah i think that's all i have for tonight i've said a lot within the time frame of now but yeah i'm gonna go eat dinner i'm gonna go spend some time in skyland that's what i do to recharge my energy i literally call it skyland i just spend time with myself meditate journal you know regular things to really recharge myself i've been in the interest of myself doing the work the shadow work behind the scenes but i will take more into consideration that you guys probably want to know what it's like you guys probably want to see what it would it really be like and i'm just gonna warn you life's not perfect just like uh, the struggle is real for you it'd be real for me too and that might be the thing that i have to explore more in detail discover like what is and is it too far to share with the internet because it's some of y'all let me all be nosy genuine curiosity genuine you know people who want to support me and see me grow i'm here and i'll stay here baby you can you can see me go to the top because that's where i'm headed but yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for listening i will definitely take in consideration what type of new content i'm going to be moving forward with yeah don't hesitate to comment don't hesitate to i i take feedback okay criticism constructive criticism i'm here for it but yes that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for joining me i love you guys and i see you guys next time bye